So, summertime has come around again. Hot weather, citrusy fragrances, beaches, sunglasses, this, and of course, a non-top 10 about all my summer fragrances I wore. It's time to do my summer fragrance rotation. So these are my son's sunglasses. So I'll just go ahead and put these where he puts everything. I changed the title because I think last time the title wasn't communicating exactly what the video was. Who knows what a fragrance rotation is? This is about my most worn fragrances for summer. So let me just call it that. And as fate would have it, again, I happen to have 10 selections here, purely coincidental. Now, I don't have a lot of summer fragrances, to be honest. I have a lot more cold weather fragrances. So my goal this year was to get some more fresher scents. And I think I bought two. But first, let's talk about some that kind of carried over. First, Green Irish Tweed. You've already heard this before a million times. Love it. Wear this a lot in the summer, too. And of course, I have a review of this down below. Next, Reeve d'Ambre by Tom Ford. Really great orangey, citrusy, rindy, green citrus. Amazing. Next on my list is Cedrat en Evrant by Atelier Cologne. I've talked a lot about Atelier Cologne. I have a review of this fragrance down below. Uh, really love this fragrance. One of my favorites from Atelier Cologne. Really nice citrusy scent. It's supposed to smell like a summery cocktail, but what I get is just a really nice herbal, lime, fresh, musky scent. I mean, it's perfect for almost any kind of casual setting. It's, it's amazing. Next is Aventus? Aventus? Aventus. It's awesome. Aventus. Aventus, pineapple, musky, dirty, birch, amazing, masculine, hair in your chest, sweat in your brow. Awesome. Review down below. Next I have Venetian Bergamot by Tom Ford, which I don't even want to talk about. But I do have a review of it down below. You can watch that. Next is Falling Into the Sea by Imaginary Authors. It's a fruity, musky scent that kind of has like a sandy quality running in there. It is very unisex. It's actually made for women, but I think it's very unisex. And it just so happens to be my kids' personal favorites. So thumbs up for kids. Next is Epis Marine by Hermes from their Hermescence collection. Really, really beautiful fragrance. One of my favorite fragrances from the Hermescence line. It is very oceanic. It is like the evolution of an aquatic. It is salty. It is spicy. It has some toasted sesame seed notes in there. Um, there's some citrus notes in there. There's a little bit of a whiskey note in there. There's a butt sweat note in there. There's actually not. There's actually a cumin note in there, but some people don't like it and they do think it kind of smells like butt sweat, but I think it's amazing. My only problem is it smells exactly like Cartier Declaration, which I have a little sample of from Scentbird. Sameless plug. Review of Epis Marine and Scentbird down below. Next is Mosaic by Imaginary Authors. Now you have to imagine this bottle because I don't have it. I used so much of my samples that I wore all my samples out. So imagine this imaginary bottle from Imaginary Authors being Mosaic. Imaginary. Now Mosaic is a brilliant citrus note. It has a lot of petty grain at the top and I don't normally like petty grain, but it really adds the perfect green bitterness to this fragrance. It's supposed to smell like an old shaving cream, and I don't have any experience with that shaving cream, but I see where it's going. It has like this old school type masculine quality set into a citrus-based fragrance that I think is really great. It lasts a long time, it's a great value, and it actually changes a good bit, and the dry down is just as good as the top, so mosaic. Next is Orange Sanguine by Atelier Cologne. In my review of Cedrat en Evrant, I mentioned that these two share a similarity, and I still think that. I do think that they do s smell kind of similar. I like Cedrat en Evrant more. It's very orangey, or uh, orangey. Some have likened it to orange juice, which I don't really get. But I do get an orange mixed with geranium and a musky base. To me, this really reminds me of a cool morning driving on the interstate for some reason. I don't know why, but it's like going on a vacation, and you're smelling the cool air as you wake up in the morning. I think it's really great. And last but not least is Pomelo Paradis by Atelier Cologne. Absolutely fell in love with this this year. This is probably my favorite from their line now. Obviously it's supposed to be centered around the Pomelo, but I haven't smelled a Pomelo so I'm not exactly sure what that's like. But I'll tell you what it does smell like. It smells like pink grapefruit and the best pink grapefruit. It's super bright, super tart, super wonderful and amazing. Pomelo Paradis is my best find this year for the summer. 
So that's all I have for my most worn fragrances this summer. Let me know what you think of the fragrances I picked and let me know what you wore this summer. Of course, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe down below. I love you for it. I'll see you next season with another rotation slash what I wore. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go outside. It's Alabama and it's still freaking hot.